Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, in this video, I'm going to discuss about our um, answer scheme for the midterm question. I'm not going to discuss for all the questions, rather, I'll be discussing the most important related to PLC and pneumatic circuits. So, I have already uploaded a video uh, for the solution of the question uh, related to the PLC. Now, I'm going to discuss about the two questions that are related to the pneumatic circuits. So in this first question, in the question number three, which uh, stated uh, states as follows, a cylinder for shoe assembly operation should advance either by pressing two push buttons simultaneously with two hands for safety purpose or uh, pressing a foot pedal valve. If there is no shoe inside the work chamber, the cylinder should not advance to ensure the safety. It should retract after a specific time has elapsed and after a certain pressure has been reached. Retraction speed should be as fast as possible. However, the forward travel should be controllable. And the next cycle can only be possible only after the full retraction. So let us see how I made this solution. So let me open this. I think this is the solution. Okay, let me see. So, as I have mentioned, so this is the cylinder that we are talking about. So, uh, the forward speed should be uh, the forward sh speed should be controllable. So that's why uh, this is a one-way flow control valve. And uh, but the exit uh, that, that means the retraction should be as fast as possible. So that's why this quick exhaust valve is there. Now, the, how many AND conditions? There are several AND conditions here. First, we have a uh, two push button. Either you have to press the two push button or a foot pedal valve. So that's why you have a shuttle valve here. And this output of the shuttle valve goes to the AND condition, which is the maybe the uh, part detector. Okay. And also there is another AND condition that this cylinder has to be in the initial position. So all these things will cause the cylinder to move forward and the speed would be controllable because of this flow one way flow control valve and uh, it should retract after it reaches the retraction position that's why you have a2 condition is here limit limit switch and this will cause the timer to initiate and also uh, this timer will be also causing uh, this uh, make, make sure that uh, this pressure at the chamber reach a certain level then only this air will go here and will cause the valve to switch on another direction and then it will be retracting and retraction because there is a quick exhaust valve so it should be as fast as possible let us simulate the problem and see whether it is correct okay so first and foremost that um, I cannot this is spring loaded valve so I cannot really press these two valves simultaneously but it is understandable but uh, let's say if I press the foot paddle valve okay before I that I want to press this one that there is a part inside I did not press any I did not give any spring return uh, but in real life it would be a spring return valve but for simulation purpose I just put it as it is so you put the um, component inside the chamber it is the cylinder is in initial position so you have the air pressure here now you press the foot paddle and see it should move forward and once it moves forward it will wait there for a while and then it will be uh, retracting as fast as possible let's try one more time so it is controllable speed in the forward direction and then once it hits the limit it will cause this timer to start and the pressure has already built up so now it is good to go to the retraction and retraction was as fast as possible so this is the first uh, problem let's see the uh, second problem okay 
Okay. So the second problem, let me open, yeah. The second problem says, uh, design a pneumatic circuit for three double acting cylinders to carry out 90 degree folding operation two times. So if you press the push button, first cylinder moves after five seconds to clamp the workpiece. Why these five seconds? Because there will be another worker who will put the part inside and it roughly takes about five seconds and then you press the push button to uh, start the process and uh, followed by uh, so you have to press and hold the push button for five seconds and followed by a second cylinder which will do the first folding operation mm, and then the third cylinder which will do the second folding operation and after finishing all the folding operation all uh, cylinders should retract to its initial position mm. okay uh, Okay, now the all cylinder, uh, yeah, all cylinders simultaneously move back to the initial position. So let us see how this uh, problem can be addressed. So this was the solution. As you can see, this is the first cylinder to clamp. This is the first folding cylinder this is in a 90 degree, and then another 90 degree is the second folding cylinder. I tried to arrange the cylinder in such a way that you can visualize the problem as well. Now, I have put this flow control valve, though there is no need uh, according to the question, but just for simulation purpose so that it is slow enough for you to understand. Now, let us simulate this thing. And this is a timer valve uh, because I say that once I press, it should wait for five seconds. So roughly I put 50% here, it, uh, but in real life you have to adjust the timer based on the, uh, your actual time. And then once I press this one, then I wait for five seconds, then it will start to move the first cylinder. And once the first cylinder hits the limit A2, this will cause the second cylinder to move. And then when it, once it hits the B2, this will cause the third cylinder to move. And once the third cylinder moves to the C1 condition, then basically all cylinders is retracting because this C1 valve is causing this uh, valve to switch, this valve to switch, and also this valve to switch. So all three will be moving back to its initial position simultaneously. So let's simulate. So initial uh, condition, this cylinder should be retracted. And now if you press this one, okay, now you can see the first cylinder is moving followed by the second cylinder and followed by the third cylinder and now all the three will be moving back simultaneously okay now it states in the one in the question that uh, <coughs> explain some drawbacks of the design and suggest improvement in terms of safety and reduction of the labor so this is something very important. Let's see whether you have uh, what the, what is the drawbacks of this system. The drawback is that you need um, to press and hold this one for five seconds. Then only you can release and all the whole the sequence will operate. Because if you just press and release, it will not happen. It will not cause anything to happen. But if you press and wait for this timer valve to actuate, then only the system will work. So this is the first problem. Second problem, you need two people to um, do this thing because someone will press, another one will put the part on the uh, chamber to do the folding operation. So you need two person at least. Third one, even if there is no part in the chamber, there is no way this system can detect whether uh, there is any part or not. So this is, there is a safety concern. So how to improve this thing? So it's very simple, remove this uh, timer with a uh, part detector switch, uh, limit switch. Let's see, uh, improved one. So here, what we have here is basically I remove the timer, the, everything else remains the same, and I put a limit switch, which is part detector. So, <coughs> so what happened here, let's simulate. Now, initially, I mean, this can be done by a single person. He will put the part and then just press the switch. That's it. If there is no part, even if they press the switch, it will not work. So we have the part, so the valve is actuated. Now we just press, and we don't have to press and hold. We just press and release, and you see the cylinder, first cylinder moves, followed by the second cylinder, 
and followed by the third cylinder. And once the third cylinder hits the limit, then it will all the three cylinder will go back simultaneously. So these are the solutions for the pneumatic circuit. Hope you have understood. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.